YouTube, Pig5319 Films here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this really cool portal looking effect. You can also do it with orange as well. So it's really nice and you can do it for however long you want. And then I'm going to be showing you guys how to render it so you can just basically drag and drop into whatever footage you have. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to open, create a new composition. I like to make mine 1080p and we don't need to make it for a minute. We can make it for, I don't know, let's just say uh, 5 seconds. It's pretty good. Make sure it's black as well. And I'll just name this one uh, Portal. Whoops, misspelled that next thing you want to do you want to create a new layer solid and you want to make it whatever color portal you want I'm gonna make it blue Can gonna uh, make it right around here it's pretty good and let's just name this one ring make sure it's the same size as your composition so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your lips tool take an ellipse go from the center and draw not a perfect circle but sort of an oval like this it's pretty good maybe that's pretty good alright now you, you want to duplicate it and for the second mask you want to hit subtract and that'll get rid of the middle and then you want to come in here go into mask expansion and bring it in a bit so right around here is pretty good and then you want to feather it slightly as well so maybe 10 pixels is pretty good Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to create another new solid. It doesn't matter what color it is, we're just going to name this interior. Alright, then you want to go over to your effect and preset panel and then type in fractal noise. And then I'll slap on this uh, cool little effect here. But to try and like go through and change like how you want it, you can do dynamic. I prefer, I like dynamic. I prefer dynamic. What you want to do is you want to bring it behind the ring and then mask it so that it fits inside the ring. So now what you're going to want to do is you want to come down here to your composition panel. You are going to go to interior effects, fractal noise, come down to evolution, alt click and then type in time Let's do uh, 300. Pretty good. And this, what this will do is it'll evolve. It'll make this cool bubbling, bubbling effect. It'll set the evolution for the time. And then what you want to do is you want to slap on a tint effect. So interior. Come down to the tint. Set this one to a dark of whatever color you're using. So I'm going to use dark blue and set the white to a nice lighter blue try and get it like that you don't want it to be dead on or you can it doesn't really matter but if it is dead on what you want to do is you want to take the ring duplicate it and the second ring make sure this is the first and this is the second you want to edit the second one here and slap a tint on it and what you want to do is you want to make sure the mask expansion is in more than the other one. So you want to bring it in more, a lot more actually, and then bump up the feathering. Then what you want to do is you want to set the black to a dark blue. And do the same with the white but darker. Alright, and that's looking pretty good so far. Basically guys, it's all about experimenting. You just uh mess around with that as much as you want. Next step, take, come into your effects and presets panel and type in uh, turbulent displacement. I can find it in here. Turbulent dis displace. Drag on, on your first one. Adjust the settings so it's not too intense but when it does evolve it does kind of wobble around. Maybe the size Oh, keep the size lower. Yeah, right about here is pretty good. 
right about there is pretty good. So then what you want to do is you want to come into back into your effects, turbulent displace, uh, and then go back, go into your evolution, and then type in time star 300, same as the other one. And what that'll do is it'll just evolve the same amount as the other one. So then what you want to do is you want to hit, come into here, hit copy, so command C or control C, and then paste into your uh, ring, into the other ring. And what this will do is this will match it up so there won't be any like messed up edges along the side here. What you can do to make this look a little bit better is change the contrast amount along with the brightness. Not too bright though. Maybe right around here is pretty good. Alright, now what you want to do, if you want to export this so that it looks, you can basically drag and drop so yeah, so you can basically drag and drop and you'll have this background effect and it'll actually, like, clear background and it'll actually stay clear onto your footage. What you want to do is you want to come into Portal, click this little checkerbox thing here, and it'll toggle transparency. So, so far it's transparent, but when you export it, it won't be transparent. So what you want to do is you want to come in here, let me get rid of these, come in here, take your comp, place it down there, keep all the settings, go into RGB, and hit RGB plus alpha. So what that'll do is it'll export it like that basically. And then it'll keep the background with it. So what you want to do is just hit render. Alright, now that it's rendered, if you come in come down here, get rid of this, you can uh, come over here. Alright, so you come in here and you can see your video and it looks very nice. Very well done. Keep it on like that. Um right. Now that it's done like that, come back into your After Effects. If you actually go into a different file, such as this, and let's say, let's uh, import. Let's go through here and import our file. So, let's see, here it is. Come in here, import your file. If you take it, you drag and drop it right on there. It'll, it doesn't appear transparent now, but I can assure you that it will be. So, just come around here, like look solid let's make it I don't know like gray or something it doesn't really matter slap it on the back there you go see I know this is the comp but like this is a different composition right here like all of this here even if I I shall shut this off this isn't a composition no our compositions right here there's no pre composed this is an actual movie that's been pre formatted for basic drop drag and drop right in all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later Bye bye